Good evening. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Sue, Joan, Kim, Lisa, Patricia, Lisa, Marion, Sharon, Susan, Rita, Wanda, Lisa, Johnny, Heather, Tammy, Marie, Shauna, Kit Kat, Jackie, Lori, Karen, Mary, Larry, Dawn, Nicole, Dorothy, Amanda, Leanne, Lynn, Melinda, Ashley, Susan, Jacqueline, Ann, Lisa, Barbara, Betty, Laura, Heather, Nancy, Catherine, Deborah, Diane, Candy, Betsy, Renee, Cheryl, and Stacy. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for being here. I want to say I am so grateful for all of you who are here. I also want to say grateful is my favorite word, and you're going to need that later. Not tonight, but maybe tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys right now. Okay, first, if you're watching the replay, you might want to watch it in high speed because we're going to be designing in Design Space, doing a few different projects. We're going to be cutting a few different projects. Nothing's cut yet. So we're just going to craft and have fun. So if you're watching the replay, you can click the gear on YouTube and you can double speed it. Stop it when you need to. All right. I want to say I'm so grateful for everyone that is here live and for you that watch the replay. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be teaching you if you guys make this worth it for me. Like, I really love you guys. And okay. Did you get the mystery box? Let me know in the comments if you bought it or you're thinking about it. Um, what I'm gonna show you tonight, I'm going to use images in the mystery box, but what I'm gonna show you tonight, you can do with other images. Thank you for subscribing, Courtney. Um, so even if you don't have a mystery box, it's not available everywhere, only in the United States, you're still gonna learn. So know that you can still learn even if you don't have a mystery box. Um, and did I say, I don't even remember what I just said. Did I tell you that I'm going to be doing a giveaway tomorrow? I am going to go live. I am not posting that it's a giveaway. I'm only going to talk about it once besides right now. And that's tomorrow in a video. I think I'm going to call the video. Let's chat. So just so you know, you might want to watch that one. The reason I'm not going to put giveaway anywhere in the um, I don't know, tags or the title or the description, it's not going to say giveaway because I don't want random people uh, searching for giveaway and then going and entering people's giveaways. This giveaway is for you. You have to be a subscriber and you have to follow me and you have to know who I am. It's going to be a scavenger hunt giveaway. But my uh, supporters will have answers to the questions. So um, for your supporter, don't worry about the scavenger hunt. I'm making it easy. All right. Hold on just a second. <laughs> um, okay. I think that's... That's it for my announcements, right? Uh, what time? I'm not positive on the time. Maybe noonish. Possibly noon one, around that time, in the afternoon, Eastern. Okay, so today, I just thought of this last night. I was playing with the digital images, the mystery box, and I'm like, I want to make a really big Winnie the Pooh card. Like, real big card. Like, I'm thinking, I don't want to slice and do all that. Let's just do it like 11 and a half inches. Have you ever had one of those really big cards? I thought that was be fun, would be fun. So we're gonna make one of the Winnie the Pooh images into a card. That's one. I'm also gonna show you how to, a lot of people don't know how to layer paper. And so I'm gonna show you, we're gonna do a little piglet, maybe about this high, and we're gonna do piglet all on one mat in different colors. 
I know I've shown that before, but so many people, you guys don't watch every single video. It's okay. I understand. You have lives to live. And I'm also going to show you how to take a regular paper layered image and turn it into something that you can use for vinyl or HTV that it's not all bulky because some of these images are made for paper, paper layering, you know, you layer, layer, layer. Um, but if you wanted to put it on a t-shirt or a onesie or something, you don't want all those layers. So I'm going to show you how to do that too with slicing and things like that. So hopefully we're going to learn a lot. Some of you are not going to learn anything, maybe on the card, possibly, but I think I've taught everything I showed you, but you don't watch every video and hopefully we'll make it fun. Um, I see we are, we are live on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch, and I see your chat in all of them. So, um, thank you for being here. Thank you. Kayra, Kayra on Facebook. And please subscribe. If you're not, click the bell so you get notified and like my video and share. Love it when you guys share. Okay, let's head on over to Design Space. Okay, so here are the images. Let's, I'm, I'm gonna go back, okay? So we're here. And I'm really sorry, I'm using the new Design Space app, and these are small. I can't get these buttons any bigger yet. I have asked Cricut to fix that for me. Um, we're going to click on images. And I've already, let me go here. I want you guys to see, I did show it in my Cricut Design Space video, how to find the images, but so many people don't know. So we're going to click images. And we're going to click cartridges and to find Winnie the Pooh, I'm going to search the word Winnie right up here. So here's cartridges. Here's where you type for search. You can just hit enter or click the magnifying glass. And there you got these awesome. I'm also going to show you if I remember, I have a lot of things going on tonight. Uh, how to take one of these and add color to it. These sketched ones. I think that would be really cool. So I think first, let's do Piglet. Okay, I love this Piglet. This reminds me of the Cricut Cutie that's all excited. I, I just love, he just looks happy. I like happy people, happy characters. Okay, um, how big do we want him? I'm going to zoom in just so you guys can see easier. Jamie says there is an update to the app and that I did not update my app, but I did go up to view and hit reload and nothing happened. So mine did not update. See, now we got to go get Piglet again. Oh, cartridges. So maybe not everyone's, maybe they're rolling out an update. I didn't get an update. Okay, back to Piglet. See, it doesn't take long. I love Cricut images because it's so easy. You don't have to download and upload and clean things up. Okay, if you didn't get the mystery box and you have no idea what I'm talking about, there was a mystery box. I have a video and there's a link below to purchase the mystery box. Okay, how big is he? He's four five 5.6 let's cut them up this big you think okay all we're gonna do is go to make it this one we're gonna do really quick oh i gotta find paper too i have not chosen any paper for the projects today okay uh so i sized it to the size i want and i'm just gonna click make it and if you guys know there are so many vinyl crafters out there that don't know anything about paper crafting and they're intimidated by it so if you find somebody that's intimidated by it send them this video okay so i know it's hard to see sometimes actually it's easier to see in this video see the black that's the black outline okay and this is his tongue you cannot see his tongue um 
but you know what I'm going to do? We're going to, I'm going to move all these under one mat. I'm also going to change his tongue to one color because you know what? I don't feel like picking out four colors of pink and I don't think it's going to matter. So I'm going to do his tongue in this color, but I want them all on the same mat and we'll just put them all on this mat. So I'm going to make this one the same color as tongue. So I'm going to click on the image with my mouse, click this circle, and it has three little dots. When you click that, it says move to another mat or hide selected. Uh, if you don't want to cut this image, you can get you can click hide selected. But I'm going to move it to another mat. Now we have the options. Which mat would I like to move it to? I can make a whole new one, but I'm going to put it on this one. And here it is right up here in this corner. So this is going to be the bright pink. Oh my gosh. How am I going to remember this? We're going to try to remember this. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and move this one, move to another mat. We're putting them all on this mat. This one is going to be black, you know, I'm going to put him over in this corner. And this one, we're going to click the little circle, move to another mat, doing it on the same mat. And we're going to pull it down. And why do I see something on there? I guess I don't. And then this fun piece. Move to another mat, same mat. And we'll just put that right there. I could move this here and move that down there. So is that that's all the colors, I guess. Okay. Thank you, Jamie, and thank you, everybody who is answering questions in the chat. If you have premium access, the Digital Disney Mystery Box is not half price because it's licensed. Disney does not do half price. There was a glitch. If you purchased it right away, you got it for half price. But it was a mistake, and now it's fixed. Hi, Kenny on Facebook. Okay, let's figure out these colors now. Okay, I don't have, I should have had more windows open together. All right, you guys just chat. I'm going to grab some colors. Is this enough? Okay, so let me go here. All right, I think I think these colors will work for Piggy, Piggy, Piggy. Okay, I'm gonna do it on this mat. You guys, the blue mats used to be my favorite mats. The blue snowflake mats, you can't get these anymore. You have to be a mat hoarder like I am and bought them on sale years ago. So many. Um, okay, so I'm going to put these papers down on the mat where they go, and then I'll let you look back at the mat again. This way. Okay. Let me move this light down here. You guys see better? Okay, the piggy, the black part, let me count. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna do seven by like four and a half. I always try to make this bigger than I need. So, Actually, I'm not going to worry about the width because it'll fit. So I need it about seven inches. I could just use my mat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be plenty big enough. So we're doing the black piece here. 
And before we go to cut it, I'll show you design space again. And then we're going to do the bright pink here. And that is like... Let's say two and a half by three and a half will give us plenty of room. You always want a little extra room. Just in case. And we're gonna put that one there. And I'm gonna make this one his body which is in this lower corner here. All right, you guys, I can't see the chat when I'm doing this. And that's four by five, six. So I'm gonna say I'm just gonna cut this. I'll stick this one here. So hopefully we can work on the next project while this one's cutting. And this color will be for the, in his ears. And it's not very big. That should cover it. Okay, so we have all our pieces on our mat. And we're going to go to design space again. So I have the black will be here, the bright pink will be here, and the body here, and this here. And we can go down here at the bottom, click. What am I clicking? Continue. I don't remember what the buttons say. I just automatically do it. Okay, and we are using cardstock. And I, you have favorites you can add here. I don't add cardstock to my favorite, even though it is one of my favorites, because it's here under popular. So I can have more choices. And it's medium, we're using Cricut cardstock. And I guess we're good. It says load the fine point blade. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, I'm gonna try to move this camera. Hopefully this will work. Okay, it's not very straight. But when you are loading the mat, if you're new, I want you to know you push this in, you put a little pressure and push this in at the same time, can't reach a button, as hitting the button. Oh, and then you have to hit the go button. Am I the only one that forgets to hit go? Mary Watson, you could always do scrap pieces on your computer. It's not snap mat. So now it's cutting. Okay, let's go over here to design space. We don't really need to watch it cutting. So I have another design space open. If you did not watch my video on Saturday showing you how to open another design space, all you have to do is go up to file, hit new window, and you can work on as many projects as you want. So let's go to images. 
you push the mat in otherwise it could cut above your projects you just have to put a little pressure on it uh and we're going to cartridges i have no control over where your chat is on youtube it could be because you have theater mode on we're gonna go to winnie because we can work in some other ones but i really want to make a card i want to make pooh bear hugging card this one is that not cute and special okay you guys we're done uh, i'm gonna earn insert this one where'd it go oh i'm like way over here all right uh let's go back to the screen so it says it is 100 done i'm gonna hit dismiss i think oh it doesn't do nothing i thought maybe it pushed the mat out okay we're gonna unload we're moving the camera whoops we're dropping the camera okay um now there are ways to take paper off the mat one way is to turn this over and rip that off like that i don't suggest you do that with small pieces so this way it doesn't curve but you know what i don't want to ruin his hands and stuff i will do it on the big pieces see this I don't care if it curves that's what happens when you do it this way it's best to turn it over and kind of peel it off this way and then it won't curve and sorry it got blurry uh this is one of my favorite tools this is the Cricut spatula this helps you oh my gosh look at all those little pieces This is going to be hard. Should I try washi tape? I will try. We're going to try to pick these up. Uh, so we're going to start with him. I am going to look at Little Piglet in Design Space again. Let's take another look. So we're finished. Now we have to look here. If you didn't know this, if you follow the layers panel, if this is a Cricut image, you know this black piece at the bottom um, is the bottom piece. And then you have his body and then his ears. So let's try to put them in order of how they are on here. So we're gonna start with the black and then we're gonna put his body on. And let's figure that one out. Um, uh, creative notion says can you use transfer tape the problem with transfer tape is it'll stick to the paper so I'm going to use washi tape I think uh, you can use press and seal I have videos on how to do it um, let's go okay so we have his body here I am going to be using art glitter glue thank you may may made it thank you Christian for subscribing oh we were gonna use we're gonna put this one on first I guess you know what I'm gonna use my club couture my chalk couture tape you can use washi tape or oh I got my purple tape too let me see that might be even more sticky I think I'm gonna use the temperature okay I'm gonna move this I'm going to add tape just on the center of this I had not planned on doing this I did not even look that these were all cut like this if you'd like to you could cut this out with vinyl and put it on paper I have done that many times. Welcome, Donna. You now will have the emojis. Okay. So I'm going to put this on here. And then I'm going to use my spatula. 
and we're going to try to lift it up there. So what I'm doing when I do this is I'm getting that corner right underneath and I'm twisting my wrist. I almost said ankle. That would have been weird. I'm doing this and twisting my ankle at the same time. Okay. That was wonderful. Now we can put him on. I do have to look at design space to see where he goes. I am hoping I get him in the right spot. Oh, but first, because this has not got sticky on it, we do have to put glue on it while it's still together. Thank you guys for sharing my video. And I do have to put glue on each single piece. Okay. Oh, and make sure he's going the right way. He is. So I am going to, wow, this is turning out perfect. I'm gonna press this down and I have to wait until this glue completely dries. The glue will dry clear. You can see a little bit of white, but it will get clear. Okay, um, his tongue, I'm not gonna do his tongue until I get his face on there. Let's go ahead, while this is drying a little bit, you know what, we could go ahead and do his ears. That way it's out of the way of this. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this. You're gonna put this underneath a corner. Now remember, if you know people who just do vinyl and they're intimidated by paper, send them this video. It's paper is so easy. I was shocked when I heard people were intimidated by paper, but they do vinyl. I thought vinyl was intimidating. You guys, I cannot wait until I, we cut the big uh, card. We have to design it too in design space. I'm going to show you how to make it into a big card. Okay, I don't know where to put his nose or anything until I have his face on. Uh, I could do his, hmm, I could do this arm. I just want to make sure that glue is dry before I pull that up. And the reason I like to put these all on one mat like this when it has little pieces like this, and lots of layers, it's so much easier to take it off as you need it. And if you look at the picture, you know where to put these because there's a little black space around each one in the picture. So you just do it so there's a little black space. If you don't get it perfect, nobody knows. Okay, let's try to do this now. Oh, some of it pulled up some of the paper. My tape was a little too sticky. Maybe when you try this, uh, put the tape on your shirt or something to get it less sticky. It was a little too sticky, but it's okay. It just looks like he was eating and uh, dropped some food down his shirt, doesn't it? I think so. He's going to be good. Learn from my mistakes. That's my motto. Okay, now there's his face. He's got little eyebrow in there. Now we're gonna put this right there and we'll know where to put the nose then. And you guys, I cannot craft and read chat at the same time. So, I'm sorry if I'm missing some questions. If I'm missing something important, Jamie usually sends it to me. Um, for the, his nose, I'm just gonna put a little glue down here
I think his nose is upside down or something. I don't know how his nose goes. Nose goes. No, maybe. Okay, I see now how it goes. More glue, just a dot. I think it goes, hmm. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't know if it really matters. I'm gonna drop it. There, that'll be good once it's dry. Can do his other hand. Can I see how easy and fast this was? So many people are afraid to use their machine. Did you see? I just added it to my canvas. I sized it and hit make it and loaded up the mat. I know you can all do this. It's not difficult. And you could put this little guy anywhere. You can put him on a card. Thank you for subscribing, Angela. You can put him in a scrapbook. You can make decorations with him. You can put him on your Cricut and just make, let you smile every day. Is he done? I guess he's done. That was really fast and easy. Okay, I could have done his little clothes a little better. You can use Glad Press and Seal. I think it's by Glad. It's the kitchen stuff to also do the same thing I did and the kitchen stuff will not glue like that. I just, I don't have it right here. I wasn't even thinking of that. Okay. Now let's go to design space. Do we have any questions? It's art glitter glue. I get it from maymaymadeit.com. There could be a link in the description of the video. Oh, the tongue. Thanks, guys. The tongue. There we go. There's his tongue. I really don't think the tongue was worth getting another different color. You can just cut out the same one. I am going to put my pen back in my glue so it doesn't clog. Okay. Let's go to design space. Okay, we're going to go back to this one. Look, we're done with that project. And now we got this one. So we want to make this one big. Um, instead of dragging it here, which you totally could do. Oh, look, I just did it. I was going to make it around 11 inches. And <laughs> that's how big it is. Okay, but we want to make this into a card. So I need your help. Do we want the card to open from the bottom or from the side? I think from the side because I think this would be cute just standing on top of a table and desk and I think it would stand better if it was on the side. Okay, what we need to do is we're going to see how these are all in order and I'm gonna need these colors again to make Piglet. I might need more because some of them are small pieces. And here they are. I need this bottom piece is the black piece. I need to click on that over here. Notice I have not ungrouped anything. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to click duplicate. It's right up here. And there we go. I'm going to make that one white. Um, somebody's asking about getting a link to a project. 
Uh, to get a link to your project right now, the only way to do that is to open up your web browser and get it the old way. You can't do it here yet. Okay, uh, we also wanna write on the inside of the card. This is gonna be the inside of the card. Whoops, wrong button. Shapes. I'm gonna add a score line because it is going to be a card and we want it to fold. I I think right here will work. I've never really, I don't, I don't know. It might have been a long time ago before I made a card like this. Okay, so we're gonna add this score line there and we're gonna add some text. How about if we just add hugs? I don't know what this card is for, but just to send to, just hugs, cause they're hugging. This could be a get well or new baby or whatever you like it to be. I'm gonna do hugs. Uh, and we're gonna go up here and choose font. I want, you know what, first, I'm gonna go to style, and you can do this on the iPad too, go to style, writing, and then go to fonts, go to filter, click writing, so it will only give me writing fonts as a choice. Um, there are so many writing fonts that they just keep adding them every week. For right now, instead of taking up your time, I think I'm gonna use the Carly Sketch. Spelling it right is good. So I'm gonna have that right there. And let's change the color. So to change the color, we click it over here in the layers panel and we can choose a color. We can, ooh, should I use a medium point? A marker, because it is gonna be pretty big. We'll try a marker, see what it looks like. I don't know what color we wanna do. Uh, maybe neon orange. Oh, that's infusible ink. Mm-hmm. That's infusible ink. That's the washable. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to click gold for now. Now, we have not done any... Oh, you know what I want to do first? I want to make these a little closer together. So I'm going to click letter spacing... Oh, that's too close. And I want this S a little closer, so I'm going to ungroup it. Move that S over. And um, now if we were to hit make it, it's the wrong answer. We're not really done yet. Look at how it does it. I'm showing this because so many times people are uh, not knowing how to fix that. The reason it did that is because we didn't attach. So here's a score line. I'm not going to duplicate this and uh, weld it together. That is a way. That's how I did my cupcake cards. I'm not doing this one that way uh, because it would be too big. So we are going to attach. Okay. Now we're ready to cut. That's going to fit right on top of there. Let's hit make it. And let me find a marker. They don't have the old markers in here. I'm using very, very, a red one that I didn't see in the list. Okay. Uh, 
So look at all these mats. Um, should we try? Let's let's put these piggies. <laughs> piggies. Uh, are there only three? Yeah, there's only three for the pig. Oh, and look, we got to try that again. Okay, while that's cutting, I am going to run into the kitchen and see if I have some of that tape. So we're going to test that again. Okay, I'm going to move this one to this mat. We'll put that over here. We only have three colors of this guy. Move to the mat. Move that one here. I'll just move that piece down. Um, okay, that's for his nose. Um, let's move this one to the black one. I really wouldn't even care if his nose was black. Um, all right, I think I'm going to leave these like this. Let's do this one first. Oh, I'm going to have to change the score and pen. Okay, let's hit continue. I think I'm going to do craft board on this piece just so it's sturdier. Um... So the, I'm gonna use the craft board, the white Cricut craft board, and I need to put in my pen and the double score wheel because I'm using craft board. So it is waiting for me to do that. Okay. Craft board. So this video might be a little long, remember? Oh, I was going to do this part last. I'm going to show you how to do some slicing, too. Okay. Okay, let's try to move the camera again. Okay, I need my double score wheel. So I'm just going to change single score wheel to the double score wheel. This one out. This is the only time we're going to need to change the blade. I'm using the medium tip very berry. I don't know if this is available anymore. And then we're going to load the mat. You know what? I also want to make sure there's nothing over here behind the machine that it will hit. Uh, Terry Marcus says I wasn't sure if the machine would recognize a single or double. The machine does not know if it's a single or double score line. It only knows if it's a score, scoring wheel. That's all it knows. Yeah, if your machine is not recognizing score wheels, call support. Mary Watson's asking me where I got the stand. This one is actually Recollections little, they're like half size 
boxes from Michael's. They're two different boxes it's sitting on. They're not even connected. Yes, uh, Karen, the Patreon Hangout is for $5 and above to be in video, but you can watch and chat if you are $1 and above. Okay, now I want to show you what this says. It says install fine point blade. So we're going to do that. Now, we do not have to worry about this right now, but I'm going to go ahead and take it out and put the lid on and hit go. So now it's going to cut out the outside. My wheels are pushed over to the right here, so when I'm doing chipboard and things like that, I just always have them over to the right. Yeah, the machine does not know what color of marker you put in. You can put in any color. Like I told Design Space I was using a gold one. I lied a little bit to Design Space. I do that sometimes to Design Space. What's the difference between the scoring wheels? Uh, the double scoring wheel is for thicker materials like craft board and poster board, so you don't get cracking on the edge. Okay, now, you know what? I'm gonna make sure this is completely cut, and it is. Look at that hugs. Isn't that cool? Oh, I could have been loading the next mat, too. Okay, next mat is black. You know what, I think I'm gonna use, okay, let's take this off the mat. I am going to flip this over and curve back the mat instead of the Winnie the Pooh. See, it's not curved at all. Um, you know what, to make this a nice stiff, I'm gonna use black craft board for this next one. Pressing it on the mat. It's on the black one. This won't take long. Thank you for subscribing, Deanna. Um, for a li real light chipboard, you could use the deep cutting blade. It will take many passes. Oh, great question, BL Plum. If it was not cut through, I would just hit the go button without cut, hitting the undo button. Oh, look, somebody bought a mug. I have that exact same mug. Now we'll be twinsies. Here's my mug. You can find my merch underneath my video on YouTube. I haven't shared all those yet. There is no discount code for Amazon. Judy, you do the same thing on an air too. When it's done cutting and this unload button is blinking, ignore it and just hit the cut button. It's the same thing in all the machines. Yes, the craft board is from Cricut. Okay. 
Okay, now we have, which way does it go? It goes this way. We have these two pieces. And next, it wants, let me put this back. What is holding my maker tools? This is a bench that I created. It's made out of chipboard and brushed paper. I shared this file with all my supporters and it has that little loop there, little thingy. So it fits inside the machine and you can close it up and everything while it's in there. Uh, okay, let me get the other colors. Pooh Bear. Will this work? Will this work for Pooh Bear, you think? That color and then the bottom of his feet need to be a little darker. So I was thinking that one. Thank you, Jen. So we'll do that. So this one is just the bottom of his feet up here in the corner. That'll only take a second. Oh, but you know what I forgot to do? Let's go to design space. Okay, um, I forgot to change this off craft board because now we're gonna be using paper. So I'm gonna click right on this word craft board. And now I'm gonna go back to popular and I'm gonna click cardstock, 80 pound, cause that's what Cricut is. And that's it. So now we're going to go back to the machine. And now the cut button's going. Click cut. That kind of looks more orange on video than it does in real life. And if you don't have the correct colors, you could always do white and you could color it. I'm making a pile on the floor. Okay, now to get the, I don't want to keep moving the camera back and forth while we're doing this part. I'm just going to lift these up like that. And oh, oh, you know what? When we did the black, I totally forgot. And I did his nose in black. All right, he's just going to have a black nose. Does that really matter? I think he'll look, oh, it might matter. We might have to recut his nose because I forgot. Okay, now we're doing the body of him. So I'm going to put this color on the mat. And hit load, hit go. Did I hit it? Yep. Okay, I'm going to run to the kitchen real fast and try to find some um, flat stuff. Test and seal, I got it! So we're going to try this on Piglet's outfit this time. Hopefully it'll work better. We are making a really big Winnie the Pooh card. I gotta get the next colors ready. And I could do that while I have other mats. I got other mats available. Kobe. Big enough. 
Yeah. And... Okay, that one's done. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave him on this mat. I'm just gonna take off the excess. And I'm gonna go ahead and start a new mat for the piglets. And let's go over here to design space. Okay, uh, to make an envelope for a card this big, I don't know, I'll have to think about that. It'll take a minute to figure that out. You might just have to glue some pieces of paper together. Okay, um, I'm gonna click on this so I can see this okay that's his face that's his ears this mat's really 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 sticky if your mat oh my gosh okay you guys let me show you how sticky this is here's my mat it's really really sticky don't know why this one's so sticky but it's really sticky, so I'm gonna make it less sticky by sticking it on my shirt because I don't want the paper to stick to it. This must be a brand new mat. Oh yeah, I can make envelopes using 12 by 24 paper. And now it won't be so sticky because it's got shirt fuzz on it. So the pieces will come off easier. All right. Hope I find all these pieces. Oh, let's go back to design space. Cause I lost my, come back up. Okay. His body I got is good. His, or his clothing. His top body is almost four inches by seven. So that's this one. So I'm cutting paper here. Talk some amongst yourselves. Remember, if I said you're watching the replay, you're gonna need to go in fast mode. I wasn't kidding. Um, this is gonna go up here. I'll show you the mat before we load it. But I just wanna get this done. When you're putting your mat down, it's better if it's all facing the correct way. And uh oh, my sister's calling me. She doesn't call me very often. She's gonna have to wait. That's it. There's only three colors of this one, right? Okay. Um, let's go back over here. So here is my piglets.
Kathy, if you're talking about the code for the files uh, on Patreon, you probably have to click see more. You have to actually click on it and read the whole post. There's lots to the post that you don't see just by looking at it. You got to click on it. Okay, I think we're going to start. Okay, all we're missing is his shirt. All right, let me get some red paper. How big is this shirt? We're going to start putting him together before we cut his shirt, just so we can get this done. And then I'll cut his shirt while, um, maybe while we're putting it together. I don't, I use the mat, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this blue mat. Oh my gosh, this one's so sticky. I don't even wanna use it, it's too sticky. Okay, we're gonna unload. We're gonna move the camera. And hopefully the camera doesn't fall. There we go, I think we're good. Okay. Now, there's a piece of the paper that ripped here, and because we're gonna take it off with tape, or with the other stuff, I wanna make sure you kinda of weed all of that. See how it's got lines there? And, okay. Now, let's just start with the black and white. I need more room on my desk. Okay, to make this a card, these are the exact same size. There's a score line right here. And when we have this card like this, we're gonna open up this card and it's gonna bend back like this. So what we need to do is on the score line, I'm gonna turn it upside down and kind of bend it up. So on that score line, it will bend. And then we are going to glue, we're gonna put glue here and then glue this right on top of that. So we're gonna do that right now. Maybe I should do it last, I don't know. We're gonna do it now. I'm going to put glue right on the edge on the left side of the score line and all around the very edges. And then we're gonna glue this on. We're gonna lift them both up to make sure they're even everywhere. I like to just grab the edges and put them together so they're even. Even though there's no glue on this side, we still want it to be even when this is glued down here. And if you don't get it perfect, it's really okay. At least it is in my book. We do not have a score line here because we don't want to bend the pretty Winnie the Pooh. So when the card opens, I might need to wait till that dries. When the card opens, it'll be this piece that will bend open in say hugs. And you'll be able to stand it up like that. I know you guys can't see it. 
but it will stand like that. Thank you, Karma. Welcome. All right, let's put Piggy together. Now, who? <laughs> or Piggy. Okay. I'm gonna start with Winnie the Pooh. So I have the pieces on here. I'm gonna start with the pieces that look easy to me because looking at this and looking at these, we're like, oh, where did they go? Where did the pieces go? I know this piece will go right down here on his um, leg. So I'm gonna pull this off, put glue on the back, and you should have design space open so you can see what it looks like. It's very helpful if you do that. It's really helpful if you do that. Okay, I got to go back to design space. And I'm not done cutting that piece yet. So I'm going to go find the images again. Okay, and bring it in. And I can't bring it in. Oh, because that thing's over on this computer. Okay, I got it now. Right? My mats are in the way. Okay, it has a little divot right here that I can see that's where his leg goes, I think. Where's his brown pieces? Here's the bottom of his feet. The fatter one goes down here. Oh, see? I need to move his leg over a little. So I'm just going to lift this back up. I'm going to put this piece on first. It's the bottom of his foot. Put more glue on here and they'll never know I made this mistake. Only you guys will know. It's a secret. Keep it a secret. There we go. And let's do his head, because I know where his head goes. And if you don't have one of these tools, this was my most used tool. When I first got my Cricut, like that, I couldn't survive without this tool. Yeah, see, his nose should be brown because there's black background. So his head's going to go right there. We might have to recut his nose. And there's a piece here. There we go. Give him a little milk. Mustache. There we go. We'll do his other ear. And we're still going to, I'm going to go into design space and show you how to add, like to the black and white vinyl images if you want to add color to them. Or if you want to take an image like this and make it good for vinyl and iron-on. Um, okay. I think I need his shirt. So I'm going to clean top part of this mat off. Get 
all the little pieces off. And I'm gonna stick this up here. I'm just doing it on top of those pieces. I don't think his shirt's gonna cover that up. And we're gonna cut out his shirt. And I'll put his other foot on. So this, this is the bottom of his foot. It's gonna go right down here at the bottom. I only know this because I'm just looking at the picture. Jackson, that's a great idea. She says, keep the nose and pop it up with foam tape. <gasps> you know what I could do too is go over it with a gold marker too. That could possibly work. Okay. Voila! We got red and black or whatever. Orange, whatever color that is. Okay, let's put his shirt on. We're gonna dress him up. Don't want a naked Pooh Bear. No one wants a naked Pooh Bear. Now you could do this card, make it an actual card like I did with so many images in Design Space. And we're gonna do this hand. I know it goes over here. Cause I am looking at the picture in design space. Just gonna get this off. So that's gonna go right around the edge there. And His foot, I know it goes around his foot. So if you don't know where all the pieces go, like I didn't, you just do one at a time. You, you do the easy pieces. It's like when you're putting a puzzle together, you kind of start with the corners or the outside edges because they're so much easier that once you get those done, then you know where the other pieces go. And his other arm will go in here, but I'm not completely sure of the angle of this arm. Like it could possibly go different ways. It does fit in right here. Oh, and his belly. Oh, I know his belly would go around this edge, so I'm gonna get his belly. This is his belly. I understand it does not look like a belly, but look, it fits right there. Oh, see, now I can put his arm in. Remember, start on the outside edges. Leave a little black between all the pieces. Now I know where his arm fits and we're done with Pooh Bear. We got to do Piggy. Oh my gosh, it's 9.14 already. You guys, these Thursday Night Lives might be longer than normal videos I do. <sighs> okay, we're getting there, guys. We're almost done. I'm going to do Piggy's feet. Here's one leg. And that leg... Oh, oh, it's upside down. Completely upside down. <laughs> it goes here. So always put it down before you put glue on it. Otherwise, you could put glue on the wrong side. I've done that many times. So 
It's upside down because I have my mat upside down right now. And this thing will go over here. I'm so glad you love these videos. Um, Piggy's ears. I think that one goes there. This one goes there. Whoops. Go back. You guys, the reason I like the Art Glitter Glue instead of a dry adhesive is because I'm not perfect and I need to move it around. Is that right? Yep. Okay, let's do Piglet's face. There's the face, isn't it so cute? Okay. I did what I just told you not to do. And I put this glue on before I put it. There it goes. I think I need to move it that way a little. Oh, no, this way. Oh, he's not going to be perfect. He's too far over this way, but it's okay. Um, where's his arm? Got it. And then we're going to get to his body. How's his arm go? Like that. With the press and seal. Hopefully that will work better. He's coming along. Okay. So let me bring the mat over so we can get the press and seal. So we're, yes, we're using this kitchen press and seal. Welcome Marjorie. something I guess not I guess I got all the pieces okay I'm gonna press this down here really good and we're gonna use the spatula there's a gold one I always have more than one I lose them okay and I'm going to how am I gonna do this Okay, now this is really sticking to the mat. Hmm. So I'm going to poke this underneath the paper to loosen the paper from the mat. I think I usually have better luck with washi tape than with the press and seal. But it's coming up. Okay, I'm taking one piece up at a time and kind of lifting it up onto the press and seal. Now, let's get this out of the way. 
Now we're gonna put glue on these pieces. Okay, so we got glue on them. And we are going to attempt <laughs> to lay this down. I think where it goes. Yeah, look at that. So I'm gonna push this down. And I'm not gonna wait for it to dry because it might glue this to it. There, oh, his nose, that's what we're missing. I think that's still on the mat. Maybe not. Huh, where'd his nose go? Oh, yeah, here's his nose. Lost his nose again. Okay, should we try to figure out where his nose fits? No, I think that'll work. Let's just stick some glue here. Stick him down. Okay, black nose. I am rolling over here. We are going to try something I've never tried before. Instead of cutting a new piece of brown, I'm going to take a gold metallic calligraphy pen, because it's fat, and yeah, um, I'm just going to go around the edge, I guess, like totally, like Probably look better if I just colored it in. I should have. Maybe I still could. Just go around the edge so you can see it. I don't know. I don't know if this will work good. Kind of looks stupid. Okay, we're gonna go where I just going around the edge of the paper, not on the top. I don't, oh, Piglet's tongue is missing. Okay, let me find his tongue. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna, I turned over his uh, nose, so it's probably not gonna fit correctly. Uh, let's turn it <laughs> there. He's got a funny nose, oh well. Oh, is that, oh, that is his tongue. Thanks, Jamie. Or if somebody else mentioned that. I'm not looking at chat. Okay, who thinks they can do this? I know most of you can. Like, I know all of you could do it. But who thinks they could? Because people don't think they can. Look at how cute it is. And you open it up, and it says hugs. And then you can stand it up. Oh, wait a minute. You can stand it up before. Now it wants to roll. There. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. I'm gonna do something. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm thinking if we attach something. Oh, look, now he stands. What the heck? I didn't do anything to him. And he stands. Okay, 
So there. So when you're making a card like this, you want to make sure there is kind of a flat surface at the bottom if you want it to stand up. He's so cute standing up. Isn't that just so cute? Who doesn't want this? Thank you, Marjorie. Isn't it cute? Hogs. Oh, doesn't that make everybody warm and fuzzy? Here's another little piggy. Okay. Now let's go to design space. And... Um... Okay, we're not going to work with him. You know what I do want to show you? I want to show you how to um, make the... I'm going to go to cartridges, type in Winnie. I want the other one. Whoops. Oh, somebody said the card was open too wide. Maybe. Yes, you could do print and cut. You totally could do print and cut. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You can't do print and cut on this size. You could make a smaller one, like a regular size card, and do print and cut. This one's too big for print and cut. Uh, I want to look at this. This little guy here makes me so, oh, he's so cute. Look how cute they are. Okay. You guys, it's getting late. Can you tell I'm tired? Look at this. Is that not the cutest thing? But... This would be cute for iron on, but what if you want to add a color to this? What if you want some color behind that? Thank you, Brittany, for subscribing. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to duplicate. Let, first, before we do this, while I have Mr. Piggy here, Mr. Piglet, thank you, Crystal. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make it print and cut just like he is. I know a lot of people have questions on this. All you have to do is go down to the bottom. See my mouse down here? And click flatten. No, what did I do? I hit the wrong button. We're going to undo. We're going to click on him. Oh, I clicked attach. We're going to click flatten. He doesn't look any different, but when you go to hit make it, he's in this one box and you don't have to piece anything together that you can just print him. Okay, we're going to cancel. We're just going to hide him for now. We're going to work with this guy. I'm going to make him smaller so we have more room. But I want color behind him. So if I wanted color behind him, Oh, Donna, great question. Can the sketch images be used to make uh, infusible ink for a shirt? Yeah, any, yeah. You could do that with this. You could uh, change it to draw. And then it would use the pens and draw. You would see this kind of bubble around it. But you could color it in if you want with the markers. You could color it in yourself. So I'm going to change it back to cut. And I'm going to hit duplicate because I need two of these. Now I'm going to have one selected and I'm going to go down to the very bottom right hand corner. See my mouse way down here. Thanks P Jamila for subscribing. And I'm going to hit contour. And I'm going to make this smaller so you can see it. Whoops, too small. And what am I going to do? Let's hide all contours. So we don't have to click on those. So now we have this. I don't want it that color. So we're going to click over here and we're going to make it Pooh Bear color. And I'm going to bring this one, click arrange. Thank you, Olivia. And bring to the front and move it. Look at that. Now we got Pooh Bear color. Is that cute? Now let's say we wanted his nose to be brown. So what I would do is duplicate him again. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to hit hide all contours again. But this time I'm going to bring back his outer nose piece and turn off this. Oops, wrong way. I always hit the wrong one. Turn off the outside one. So this round part is the only one that's going to cut. 
and now that's here and we can change this to any color we like and I'm put it right there let's go ahead send it to the back but then I must send this one to the very back and there we go now here's another option if you wanted to make this for an iron-on or uh, vinyl with only one layer you can actually do this like with the piglet image if it wasn't printed um, and other images the same way Denise I see your comment says I give up but I don't know what you're giving up on so if you had a question you have to repeat it um, so what I could do is I could select just two layers Notice in the layers panel, always look at the layers panel. I only have two selected and I can slice. So I'm going to click slice. And now I have that. And you know what? I didn't have these even because I have that mess. So I'm going to undo, undo again, undo again. And I see over here, they're still sliced, even though you can't tell. I'm going to undo again. So now they're not sliced anymore. And I'm going to select them both. And I'm going to arrange. Nope. I'm going to click align and click center to make sure they're even. Now I'm selecting only those two layers. Um, Ronnie has a question. How did you determine where to put the score line? I just guessed on where I thought it would be a good place. I don't just where you think it would be enough room on the inside of a card. There's no uh, law on that. Like if there is, I don't know what it is. So I'm going to slice. And here we go. So we don't need this piece. It's the same as this one. And then we have this one. I could contour and let me make this smaller. We're going to get rid of this piece here in the center, I think. Yep. So we got rid of that. We can move. Actually, we could slice this here with that nose so we only have that one piece but I wouldn't worry about that. And then it won't be really bulky with two layers of vinyl. Okay. So did you guys learn something? Do you have any questions? Because now I can sit here and look at the chat. Um, yeah, if you type a question and it's too long, you it won't show up in the chat. So maybe we uh, you gave up on asking a question because it was too long. That's a YouTube thing. Okay, now, um, after the video's over, go comment below and tell me what you learned. And remember... Don't forget to watch tomorrow's video. I'm going to tell you how to do some giveaways. And tomorrow, oh no, I need to put the pin in my, I don't know where my pin is. Okay, tomorrow, this is released. The Cricut Easy Press Mini. It's so small and cute and fun. I really like it. I just leave it on my desk. And I have some more projects coming. With that. I got lots more stuff coming. I got the 3D camper. Did you guys see my 3D camper? It has flamingo lights. Uh, I showed it to my secret Patreon group of $15 or more. I think I shared it on Instagram also. But I took pictures before I put the awnings on the camper. It has real flamingo lights, guys. Real lights that are little flamingos. And it holds your Cricut Cuties. 
Like my Cricut Cuties, it even has a step on the door that will open and the Cricut Cutie will sit on the step and you can play with your Cricut Cuties like if you're a child or like me. Here's the car. I just think this is so much fun. So somebody asked how I decided to where to put the score line. I don't know. I just, I wouldn't want it up here and I didn't want to do it too far out here. So it was just a little bit. I wanted to be able to have enough to glue on there. I guess that's my answer. And you don't want to ruin the card by folding the front. So just fold it when you open it. This part, where's the camera? Kind of goes back like that. So there's the back. Yeah, I'm a big kid at heart. Do you guys remember, some of you may be too young, the Toys R Us uh, song when we were kids, when I was a kid, back in the 70s and 80s? Uh, I'm a Toys R Us kid and I'm never going to grow up. I don't remember the song anymore, but I used to sing that song all the time. Well, what you think in life actually happens. If you think something, it'll happen. I'm telling you, we all have control over our lives. And I always said, I, um, never going to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. I love Toys R Us. I love toys. Yeah. Uh, so if you missed the mystery box, there's a link below. I do get a really tiny commission when you click that link and it helps me do these videos. And this one is a really good one. Do you guys want to see the other stuff that's in it? Did you guys see it? Okay, let me show you. Now, if you guys have to go, I understand. You don't have to stay. Uh, but let me show you my favorite, favorite one. I think is so, so cool. It starts with toy. Toy Story 4. Because these images are so much fun. Look at this. I love these. Let me bring some of these in. Oh my gosh, there's so many cute ones. I'm, I'm going to show you that they're already ready for, okay, let's move him out of the way. They are ready for iron on. Why are these so huge? Oh, because I have this at 225%. That's why. Okay, if you ungroup these, let's just start with him. I'm going to ungroup. Look. Oh, he's got more layers. Oh, this one isn't like the uh, some of the others. This one would be, well, no, I would still layer with uh, iron on. So that is two layers. One of them I saw was not two layers. Let's ungroup this one. So that's just the layer there. Oh, that one is in layers too. So you could do these with like some paper and you could do like this I would put with vinyl. But one of these, a few of these I saw, I thought they were like, why did I duplicate? I meant to ungroup. I thought I saw were more like cut through. I don't remember which ones they were. I was just looking at them. Oh, these aren't like that. Some of them are. But like, you could use this image for a totally different project. If you, like, this is an image that you could use a lot, especially for boys and they like comic books and something. You could just do these little guys here. You don't have to use that. You don't have to use all the pieces. You can just use this guy. You can have this draw and put it on infusible ink shirt or just have it cut like this and do infusible ink and put it on there. I just think this cartridge is fun. My uh, desktop there, my canvas is a little bit of a mess. Okay, yes, it's $39.99, but if you have access, you automatically get 10% off. If you don't have access, I would really get access. Uh, really get access. Christmas is coming. Cricut is awesome at Christmas to make projects, to shop, to do so much. All right, guys, I guess I'll let you go. It's 940. I think I forgot to eat dinner. 
Oh, I did have some watermelon before the video. All right, guys. Love you. Thank you. I will be on tomorrow live. You don't want to miss that one. And I mean, you can watch the replay. You don't have to be live. So don't worry. But in a Saturday morning, 9 a.m., I don't know what we're doing. We're opening viewer mail after Design Space class. I don't know what we're doing in Design Space. Can you guys tell me? Leave me a comment below. Tell me what to teach you in Cricut Design Space. All right. I'm really going to go now, guys. I love you. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow.